Hello and welcome back to Hardware Info. In this video, I will be guiding you through the setup of Oppo Reno 13FS. Let's begin! As you can see currently, I'm right here, uh, right after the phone restart. Um, the phone has been the hard reset it. If you don't know how to reset your phone, you can always check that on our channel. You know, we are named Hard Reset Info after all. So we do have a lot of information about hard resets. Anyway, um, the first thing is to obviously hit that big uh, blue arrow. And now we can set our system language. We can also go here right at this point and go into accessibility options um, so if you're having trouble seeing for example you can enable talkback here so it will uh, guide you through the process of configuration um, but we aren't going to do that because you know it's talking right with me and it's annoying now uh, i'm going to go with next of course you also have the ab ability to call someone maybe not someone but you know uh, call an ambulance or something, it's the emergency call after all, but obviously I'm not going to do that here. Let's hit next. Now we can select our region. I'm going to set United Kingdom and hit next. Now we have to basically agree to user agreements, user privacy protection and data security. So let's hit next. Now we can uh, have the option to basically set up our phone using other device. Um, so if you're coming from uh, some older device, uh, like older Oppo or even something else like iPhone or iPad, uh, you can do that here. I'm not going to do that though, because I don't have any old device right now. Um, but if you're wondering how to go through this process, don't worry, we do have tutorial on our channel. For now, I will go to skip. And now we can uh, connect to Wi-Fi. You could skip it, like many of these things are actually skippable, though I would advise you to connect to Wi-Fi because otherwise you won't be uh, able to go through this process of, you know, uh, logging into a Google account, retrieving a backup that you might have on your Google and all that stuff. So I'm going to go with uh, this one. And now I will take this phone quickly and input the password. Um, so I think I, I think I, okay, and I put the wrong password. Sorry. Um, so let me just fix that real quick. And just like that, we have our password. So now after you know you input your password, all you have to do is just hit save. In order to connect to this Wi-Fi, as you can see, we are now connected. We have a nice Wi-Fi icon, and now we can hit next. Now we are, um, this is the part that requires your Wi-Fi connections. Um, so if you skipped the process of plugging plug in into the Wi-Fi, uh, then you might not see the screen at all. But basically it will do a bunch of Google related stuff in order to, you know, it's probably installing Google services. Um, and now, you know, it's checking network info and all of, all of that stuff. Now we have the other option of copy apps and data. Um, this one is also related to Google, I believe. I will go to don't copy because, uh, as I said before, I do not have other device that I could copy stuff from. But if you want to uh, know how to, you know, switch from one account to the other, don't worry about that, we do have a tutorial. Now we have the ability to log in into our Google account. Once again, it's also skippable but I'm going to input my Gmail here. So all that Google, because there's a lot of Google related things in the setup. Also fun fact, you don't have to manually input gmail.com. The first part of your Gmail will do. Now I will take this phone once again, so I can input my password. Uh, because no, yeah, I don't really think I have to show you why I need to take my phone. So now after you have input your password, all you have to do is just hit next. And if your password is correct, we can see this screen right here. And oh, sorry for that. This is the, um, well, basically, if you click my child will be using this device, 
then you will go through the process of setting up the family link. And the family link is basically a fancy name for application uh, that is related to uh, the parental restrictions, the parental access and controlling your child and all that cool stuff. Um, if you are wondering how to set it up, we do have tutorials on that. For now, I will be clicking the option that many of users will probably click and that is I will be using this device. Now we have to agree to terms of service, play, play terms of service and privacy policy. Otherwise, you won't be able to add our account and use it. Now our phone is getting our account info. Once again, it might take a while, though it shouldn't take longer than a few minutes. Now we have the ability to connect to mobile network using uh, an eSIM or a SIM card. Mm, I do not have a SIM card right now. If you are wondering how to connect to this, uh, how to input your SIM card into your phone, we also have tutorials on that, so don't you worry. And if you want to use eSIM, uh, I believe we also have tutorials, but basically you should get something like a QR code or other code uh, from your internet operator. And then you want to input that code in order to enable your eSIM. Anyway, I will hit skip. As you can see, we do have the ability to just set it up later in settings. Now we can also go and choose our unlock method. Uh, it's also completely skippable, though, because having a password on your phone is really, really important. I am not going to skip that one. Um, though I won't play around with fingerprint and face, I will just go with the password. And I will go with the pattern, because pattern is probably the fastest. But you have to remember that in case you ever forget your password, uh, you are screwed over. Basically, you cannot retrieve your phone, you cannot, I mean, you can retrieve your phone, but you can't retrieve it without losing your data. Let's hit continue. Now let's draw our pattern. I will go for a simple L shape, though, of course, you can choose whatever you want or whatever password type you want. Let's hit next. Now we can enable some Google, Google services. Uh, as you can see, there's uh, quite a lot of them. The location is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if you want, if you disable dislocate this option, uh, many of Google services just won't work. Same things go with the scanning. Um, that will uh, basically scan nearby applications and nearby networks. Um, it does waste a lot of your battery, so you might want to consider turning it off. You also have sent usage and diagnostic data. Uh, I always prefer to turn it off because I care about my data and I don't want to sell it, you know. And then lastly, we have install updates and apps, but though we can't really enable or disable this option, I will now hit accept. Now we have the ability to turn on our backup uh, and it will automatically backup our things. And as you can see, we have two categories. One is for photos and videos and basically anything gallery related. And the other is for other device data like contacts, call history, messages, sims, apps and app data, all that stuff. Because it takes uh, space in my cloud and my Google cloud, I will go down the backup. But most of people uh, using any Google account and any device really should probably enable a backup just in case, you know. Then we can hit next and choose our browser engine. Mm, I will go with probably Firefox because I'm just a fan of it. So we want to set it as default. And now we can select a search engine. It is a bit different from the browser itself uh, because we can, for example, have non-Google browser and yet use Google as a search engine. And I'm going to do that right now, but probably you know what, I'm going to go with Brave, because I've heard a lot of about, a lot of cool, a lot of cool stuff about Brave, so let's go with Brave. Now we have the ability to continue setup. Mm, we could just skip it, but you know, you're watching this video already, so uh, I might as well just hit continue. And here uh, we have the ability to configure like the bonus things. The very first one is Gemini, uh, which is the upgraded reincarnation of Google Assistant. 
Uh, I will hit continue, but I will go with no thanks. I will also skip this part because Google Pay is easily startable later and I don't really have any credit cards, you know. Now we have uh, the ability to add another email account, though once again it can be easily done in the settings. Same things go with change wallpaper and review additional apps. If we click it, we can basically see that um, after we connect to Wi-Fi, this will basically install bunch of bad application let's say i don't want to use any bad words here but this is basically a whole bunch of bloatware uh, which is utterly useless and probably you will never use any of those like if these games would be even good maybe but these games are not good they have ton of ads you know so i would advise you to just uh, uncheck those and now hit ok and now we can hit next and while our, our phone is getting ready once again, we also have recommended services. These are no longer from the Google, but they are the related as you can see. Uh, there's plenty of the options. We have auto update overnight. I would advise you to um, enable this option so your apps and system is updatable in the night automatically. Then we have global search app. We have auto update system apps, which is also pretty cool to have on. Lock screen magazine. Um, I personally want to disable it because it will show you a bunch of random things on your lock screen. If you're not a fan of it, you know, just turn it off. The Quick Connect is pretty self-explanatory, as it will automatically connect quickly to nearby devices. It does waste a lot of your battery because, well, like, not a lot, a lot, it's a little bit, but you know, it's always scanning something in the, uh, that's nearby. So I would also advise you to turn it off, though it's completely up to you. Now also then we have context-aware network service, uh, which is will basically scan the things around you. Uh, we have enhanced intelligence services, uh, which is basically something AI-related. So I will keep it on off, just so I can sleep better. Uh, this is also something related to Quick Connect, but it's just named differently. Um, always, if you want to know more, I'm not going to really talk for half an hour, what is it? But you can always click learn more in order to, you know, learn more. So I will hit disable. User experience program is also an easy disabled. The system stability improvement program is also an easy disabled because it will, I think both of these will just send your data uh, somewhere in the web. And then lastly, we have AI service engine. And um, yeah, I do love AI, but I will keep that disabled. But uh, once again, all of these is just completely up to you if you want to have them on your phone or not. Now let's hit agree. Uh, we can choose the buttons or the gestures. I will go with the gestures because gestures are pretty pretty convenient to be honest and if you want to learn more about gestures we can always watch our video on the gestures now we can hit done and we should be done with setting up our phone let's hit get started and i believe that now we can finally use our app phone as you can see unfortunately we still have a lot of um, bloatware um, it's not really a part of official setup, but I would advise you to go right here into the settings before you forget, then into apps, app management, and you want to basically look through all the old applications that are already on your phone and check if you ever will use them. For example, I really, really don't like that lately on every single phone, the TikTok is already pre-installed. This is just awful to be honest and you know it will install as you can see it is installing apps already so uh, oh let's go with classic for example um, I would advise you to just check for from these applications and make sure that if there's an application that you don't want to have on your phone nor you will use it you can just click on it and just hit that sweet uninstall button and you can get rid of any kind of crap you have on your phone. 
Anyway, that's all for this video. If you found it useful, please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.